And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. Okay, I'm going to make this point again, and again, and again, and again. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another example of the left and how dangerous they actually are. So a man has an anti-Obama bumper sticker on his car, and he's a veteran. You know, there's something called freedom of speech, people. And of course, I know the left and even the right, which are actually one and the same, don't like freedom of speech. But <coughs> we have um, this guy sees a bumper sticker. Both of them are veterans. He pulls a gun on him. Now you can't be doing that. That's disrespectful. The left using violence against somebody because they don't like what the other person has to say. And then a video of a friend of ours being assaulted by an anti gun, by people at an anti gun rally. They, they claim to dislike violence, yet they're using violence. It's the very people that say they hate violence that are the violent ones why 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 if you're afraid that you're going to to use a weapon in an inappropriate way don't buy it don't own it but for people like myself who will not do that you have nothing to worry about There's, I'm not going to pick up a gun and go start shooting people the way you will those of us who are gun nuts Lucky. are the ones who are the least violent. Yet you people that um, claim to hate violence wind up being the most violent people out there. Look at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Look at our, our friend uh, Adam from Adam vs. the Man. You can find his, his channel here on, on YouTube. And he's a Marine veteran. And he is nonviolent. I have been against these wars from the very beginning. And now that it's your guy who's in charge, you're for these wars. Or you want to say that the war in Iraq is ended? It hasn't ended. You want to say, well, there were no U.S. troops in uh, Libya. Yes, there were U.S. personnel in Libya. Uh, U.S. troops, yes. Uh, you're like, oh, we won that war without sending any troops in. You liked that there was a war? People died. People are still dying. You're sick. Okay? I don't want war. I want peace. And I strive for peace. The only time I would use a weapon, a gun, or any other type of weapon, a rock is a weapon, a fist is a weapon, a fork is a weapon, a knife is a weapon, a car is a weapon. More people die, more people are killed with automobiles every day than are killed with guns. And if you are afraid you're going to use a weapon then don't own it it's that simple do not own it okay don't own it I'm not gonna do something like that my wife isn't gonna do something like that <sighs> look at all the laws that are broken when these people do use guns to kill people. Guns in a, in a gun-free zone. He didn't own those guns. He took those guns, stole those guns. Uh, he went into a school with guns. He carried guns loaded in a car. These are all crimes. You, I mean, you're never going to actually stop all of this stuff. It's just not going to happen. And I'm sorry it happens, but gun violence in schools has actually been going down not up <coughs> and when <coughs> the worst massacre at a school happened 
no one called for gun bans. Do you know about that? Do you know about that? Go look it up. The worst school massacre in U.S. history. No one called for gun bans. But it's you people who hate guns who are the most violent. You're the ones that are scary. I know a lot of people that have guns and that like guns. And I'm not afraid of them. Because I know they're not going to use the gun in an inappropriate manner. But you, the anti-gun nuts, I'm afraid of.